this shirt makes me look like a flying squirrel and I love it. Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I will be doing the newbie booktuber tag. That was awkward. This is actually my second time trying to film this video. I did it before I filmed my introduction video. I ended up just not really liking the way that I did it so I'm just gonna try again and hopefully it turns out better this time. We'll see. So question number one is why did you start this channel? And to be completely honest, I was just kind of bored. I was in quarantine for a couple weeks and with everything going on in the world, I just needed some sort of creative output. And books have always been something I'm very passionate about. I've always loved books. And so it only felt right. <laughs> I followed a few booktubers prior to this on my personal channel. And I had always been kind of interested in the community and just people who also love talking about and reading books. And then when my friends started a booktube channel and I just really felt inclined to join into the conversation and talk about things that I like because a lot of the books that I've read I feel like are not talked about super often on booktube. Question number two is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? So I'm an actor by trade. I think I mentioned that in my first video. Um, so I'm hoping to maybe do some fun and creative videos outside of doing book reviews or book hauls and stuff like that. Because as much as I love reading and love being a part of the conversation, there are a lot of other facets to my personality that I would love to be able to capture on camera and share with a community who is passionate about similar things. And I also want to bring to the conversation, talk about queer and black authors and authors of color in general and talking about representation in books as well as things that I think we as a community and people of the world, universe, whatever, should be continuing in the conversation in terms of equality and justice and social problems that I think we have the opportunity to continue in the conversation. Books have been revolutionary throughout history and have continued conversations that we don't always like to talk about. I mean, think about The Hunger Games and the cultural shift that that book series created and now with everything going on, the conversations that are now happening because of it. Just saying. Also, I want to talk about underrepresented stories, as well as poking fun at things that are popular and poking fun at things that I really like. I will be the first person to say that I loved Twilight when it came out. I still will read Twilight, but I don't like Stephanie Meyer as a person, and I don't like what a lot of the book series did to it. And so I will. Er, haha. Mm hmm. Let me try that again. I will be the first person to say that. I don't like Stephanie Myers as a person, and I will outwardly speak ag against a lot of the narratives that she's talked about, and the way that she has treated indigenous people in her stories, as well as people of color in her stories, and queer people, but that's a whole other thing. The same thing goes for J.K. Rowling. I can appreciate the conversations that she started and the cultural impact that Harry Potter had on us as human beings, and then completely disagree with everything about her as a person, and no longer want to support her. Sorry, JK. So I'm hoping to continue to kind of poke fun at those things that I like and hopefully start some more conversations. Number three, what are you most excited about for your new booktube channel? I'm excited mainly to talk to more people about books and to be a part of a community that appreciates books. I'm also hoping that it opens me up to a lot of new literature that I've never been able um, to get my hands on because I've just never heard about it or it's just stuff that I thought was inaccessible to me or just to hear other people's opinions on books and authors and stories being told. I'm always open to conversations and I just really wanted to join in and meet people. Yay! Number four, why do you love reading? I love reading because it is a way for me to be by myself and not feel like I'm by myself. For me, it's it's kind of an escape from my everyday life. It was a really great way for me to reconnect with myself during quarantine. Um, it was a way for me to connect with others. I've bonded with a lot of people over books and stories. And I think that 
books are really telling of a time period. I've, I've learned more from books than anything else, except maybe the internet. But I love that they can be a true ref reflection of history, time periods, what people valued, what people value now, and I just love stories. A lot of people in the in the acting community talk about how actors are just storytellers, but instead of writing our words down, we tell them with our bodies. And so stories and telling stories and reading stories have always been very central to my life. Number five is what book or book series got you interested in reading? I remember reading The Hunger Games in seventh grade. Um, I went to Catholic school, so a lot of the literature I was actually allowed to read was very limited at the time. My parents didn't limit what kind of books we could read, but the book areas of the school and everything were quite small. <gasps> actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know what it's called. So there is a book, and it's by, I think the author's name is like Haddix, H-A-D-D-I-X, sounds right but I don't think it is and my internet is out right now so I can't check <laughs> but it's about okay so I read this when I was in like way too young to be reading it I was like in fourth grade maybe well okay maybe I wasn't too young to be reading it but it was about I think it was called like hidden or something like that oh my gosh what was it called and it was uh the narrator was a boy and it was in a time where you could only have two kids and he was like the third child or something like that does anyone know what i'm talking about maybe i'm just like talking to the universe that book changed my life <laughs> and i know there's like a whole series after it. i only read like the first two among the hidden does that sound right oh my gosh now i'm totally doubting everything Okay, unimportant, but that book was like one of the first books that I read that hooked me in with a storyline and made me really, really care about a character. And then that kind of morphed into just like an overall love for reading and telling stories. I always also wanted to be a writer, so we'll see. Um, but that is like that time of my life was kind of where that was formed. I also read a lot of like darker literature, which I talked about in one of my other videos but I was always really fascinated with the Grimm's fairy tales and Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella and the Little Mermaid. They were just always books. So I wanted to be a princess. <laughs> so, and then, you know, like everyone else, I was in love with Percy Jackson and the Harry Potter series. I want to say that that pretty much covers the stuff that really, really got me interested in reading. And then from there, it just kind of blossomed and I just kind of read everything. Number six is, what questions would you ask your favorite booktuber? <sighs> How do you organize your books? I think that the way that someone organizes their bookshelves is really telling about them as a person, and I'm always fascinated to see how people organize them. Also, mine is not really organized in any particular way, so I'm curious as to what other people do. I would probably also ask for book recommendations, because a lot of the time if I'm watching someone, a booktuber, I have an interest in the kind of books that they read in the first place or opinions that they have about books that they've read. I'm just fascinated. We all come from like such different places and backgrounds that I love seeing why people love certain books and why maybe they don't like certain books and I don't know I'm just I'm fascinated. And last but not least number seven is what challenges do you think will be the hardest to overcome with this booktube channel? Making content that I am invested in and that I want to create and not try to do what everyone else has already done and being myself on camera I feel like I feel like it's really hard for me to show my personality in a video and I feel like I come off as very bland in videos or that I seem fake in videos and I guess, I guess I'm just really camera shy or like self-conscious the biggest challenge is gonna be to just keep doing it even though I'm insecure and also to not judge my worth on subscribers and viewership. I, I didn't create this YouTube channel in order to have, you know, a ton of subscribers and stuff. I did this because it's, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while and I just have a lot of opinions that I want to share about books and to just remind myself that like I'm creating this content because I'm passionate about it and not because I have to care about what other people think. I had a lot of fun answering these questions. Thank you so much for following along. I am always looking for book recommendations and I would love to hear your opinions on things. Thanks again for watching and have a good day.